we surveyed all of our students um, when it became clear that, that uh, we wouldn't be able to use the Colonial Life Arena. And um, overwhelmingly, what we heard from the students was that they wanted to be together. Um, so we, we kind of measured out uh, what that would look like in terms of social distancing and, and safety to see if logistically it could be done. And, um, and we came up with a, a plan that, that meets those requirements and, and to the best of our ability can, can keep our community safe. Um, so our students will, will arrive through um, a staggered arrival time in the morning. Uh, when they arrive, they will be directed in the parking lot in order to maintain um, social distancing and, and stop any congregation that might happen. Um, from there, they will have their temperatures checked. Um, they will um, uh, have their masks on before they're, they're in any sort of lines. All lines will be staggered six feet. And after they have their temperatures checked, um, the students will go to their designated seat. We're asking their families to come with them, uh, if possible, in, in one car, um, also with staggered assigned arrival times. And um, the parents will be directed to their seats. Uh, each student has two tickets and will have much shorter speeches. And then the students will get that opportunity to cross the stage uh, in their cap and gown. Um, to be recognized, and a photographer will be there. Um, the whole event's going to be live streamed, so additional family members and friends can can be watching. And then we will stagger exit from the building to keep everyone safe. Um, and graduates will will be on their way. We we all want to celebrate the kids, and and we want to fist bump and high five and and handshake. Um, but we're being really intentional to to demonstrate that that we're committed to their safety.